One of the top three questions I get asked about is getting people to call them back. You know, how do I get people to return my phone calls? How do I get people to call me back? Well, the reason people aren't calling you back is because you haven't demonstrated to them that you have any value. I know it's kind of hard to take, but it's the truth. I mean, if someone really thought that, what, that by returning your call, that you would lead them to some type of significant event that would impact their life in some way, then they're going to call you back. But if they don't think that it's anything important or it's just going to add more work or more burden or you know, they're not uncomfortable enough to make a change about whatever you're calling, they're not going to call you back. So the question that you need to figure out is what is it that you can say in an email or in a phone call, whoever you might be calling people, maybe it's in person, but what is it specifically that you can say, that you can leave behind to get someone to act, to add more intrinsic value to that person? See, if I'm going to call, let's say I'm calling a, 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 someone who's a potential customer, not a customer yet, but you know, there's potential there. They're buying from my competitor. I know that much. Right? I've already got it specced out. I already know an idea of maybe how much they're doing with a competitor. So I know that they're good potential for me. The question is, is how do they know that I'm a good potential for them. Well, I'm going to have to make a statement. So one thing that I've done in the past is I'll call someone up and say, hey, Liz, hey, Joe, we haven't met yet. My name's Chris Yonker. I'm with ABC Corporation. Listen, the reason I'm calling is, is I've partnered with other companies like, and I'll drop some names of other companies that are in the same arena they're in. Uh, like a, I've been working with ABC Company and XYZ Company, and you get the idea. Well, and what we found is, is by changing some systems, implementing some programs, that we've just realized that we've been able to significantly increase their bottom line. And what I've done is I've created a list of the top five, five different clients in the Northeast area, and I'm setting up appointments with each one of them, and I'm going to exclusively select one that I can partner with and duplicate this proven process. I'd like to come in and talk to you about what we've done and how this might benefit you to have a further discussion. So I'm, I'm going to tell them a little bit about why I'm calling. I'm going to tell them the type of companies that I'm working with, and I'm going to tell them about the bottom line result they're going to get from working with me. I mean, the bottom line is you have to tell them what the bottom line is for them. Why specifically do they want to call you back, and what what is in it for them? And then you're going to find that your, in call, your return call rate is going to go up. And, and one last thing, don't be afraid to test. You know, you, utilize a, 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 a strategy, what right, I'm talking about, right? strategy, a few points that you want to use in a message, and then utilize it 5, 10, 15 times, and then see what your response is, and then tweak it and tweak it until you start getting the response you're looking for, and then you can duplicate it.